Now, at some point in the course of this investigation, did did you develop any information concerning Russell Wants and the Shad Detective Agency? Russell Wants and Shad kept surfacing. What do you mean kept surfacing? They're just throughout the Through, course of the investigation. Throughout the course, coming up. Our people would tell us information. There was an internet guy. He, I think he went by the name. He used the name Sticky. All of a sudden, one day he appears in JP's. JP's online, and all of a sudden this guy appears. JP Curry. She was the city editor. Okay. Uh, and this surfaced at some point after stories we'd written, in which he said, "You're absolutely on target," et cetera, et cetera. And then he began to pose additional things for us to consider. And one of them was Russ Wants and the Wants Detective Agency. And his thing was, was that Wants had the best. Uh, knowledge of listing devices in the business, that uh, he was as good as the CIA, I think was the terminology he used, in terms of being able to uh, uh, um, record and, and get information. Who, who had this? this Russ, Russ Watts. Oh, Russ, okay, yeah, Russ Sticky Watts. Is, okay, okay. Sticky is telling Sticky's us. Sticky is telling yes. JP about yes. Ron Watts having all and, this. And the, the guy brings some credibility because he says to us, now don't go too hard on Stan because he did me a favor once. Dan Rebert? Correct. We never did find out what the hell the favor was, but there was some thought that maybe some charge was brought against this guy and that the charge got deep sixed. Anyway, he was he was pretty aware of, of the DA's office. He was aware of, of uh, wants. Uh, he had made claims at the time. Uh, wants had a car dealership, at least one, maybe two. Maybe he had the one in Harrisburg at the time as well. Uh, down in Spring Grove, he had a car dealership that he also owned. And uh, I think it was a General Motors dealership, and execs would come in, and, and Russ Wants allegedly would provide them with prostitutes when they would come to visit. And supposedly Wants was, was then uh, recording and filming the sexual acts so that he would have something over General Motors or over these executives. But what made it plausible, however, was the Keeney situation with the tapes, plus Ness's own operation. David Ness had a traffic accident, and he went to the Anstein agency. Jesus, I don't know if I can say this. Do you, have, do you have a concern with? My concern is that the individual was never identified. Okay. What individual? An attorney in Einstein's office. Okay. And if I reveal this information, he's going to be identified. We just say attorney A. It's okay, an attorney in Einstein's office. Correct handled a traffic accident case involving and David Ness and in return to pay him Ness didn't have any money so he agreed to set him up with some girls okay they set him up with a a, a prostitute down in uh, where Ness was running his operation which was uh, outside of uh, Dallas town in a little strip mall on the second floor again uh, and apparently what happened was there was a bed, there was a desk, there was something else. And sitting on the desk was a, a smoke alarm. Except it wasn't a smoke alarm, it was a camera. And they videotaped this attorney. So now they had the attorney uh, under their purview. How did we know this was the, the case? The attorney got called before the grand jury because it surfaced out of stuff that the grand jury was looking at in relationship to Ness and Delp. Uh, and Niles somehow was able to get information, I don't know, it was from the other attorney or whatever as to what went on there. Again, we didn't see it relevant at that point in time 
to the storyline that we were pursuing. That didn't mean that it wouldn't become relevant again at some point in the future, depending upon where the storyline went, where the investigation went. Did you at any point um, develop information that Mr. Wants may have been involved with Larry Keeney? Uh, I, I think that may have gone back to the, uh, to the taping that Wants was involved somehow, or his agency was involved somehow with the taping. Did any prostitutes who you had any of these uh, interviews with over the course of your investigative efforts in this matter ever mention Russell Wants? I think so. Again, I, if you would ask me who it was or which ones it was, I don't remember at this okay. point. Um, now, have there been allegations that have been brought to your attention that, that wants has some kind of protection from the uh, York County District Attorney? That, that was the, uh, the assumption that certainly uh, Wants had protection from Stan because of the stuff that he had done with and provided him with. Now, then did you have a conversation with a retired York policeman about how the, the Shad Detective Agency came into existence? Do you recall anything about yes, that? Yes, I did. Um. What do you recall about that? And I will identify this person, the Tom Chapman, who was a former police chief of police. Uh, he was a police officer at the time, and apparently there was a murder on Christmas Eve going way back in the 60s when Tom was a policeman. And the other police officer was Shad. And... Tom had kids and Shad apparently did not and this was on Christmas Eve and they were going to have to do inventory and all this stuff at the crime scene. And Shad told Tom, oh you go home to your kids. And he did. And Tom told me that he thought that Shad found coins that he allegedly confiscated and took then for his own use, which was the basis of starting the Shad Detective Agency. Uh, Tom had some early history on Russ Wants as well. Uh, he told me Wants always wanted to be a policeman. Uh, and apparently was a policeman for a birth a short while with the Mount Wolf, whichever police department that was in Mount Wolf. And he applied to become a cop in New York City and, and couldn't get in. And he said that even when he was a teenager, Wants was, was a, uh, an entrepreneur. He, he apparently had the gumball machine franchise as a teenager in downtown York and uh, ran that. Uh, and he was always doing favors for cops because he wanted to be a cop himself. Uh, And I, I think Tom used the word squirrely. He was a little squirrely, he said. Uh, there was always something a little squirrely about that guy. Uh, and apparently he then got into the Shad Detective Agency through, through Shad. Somehow he had become good friends with him after his son had died, after his son was, his son was killed in the riots. Uh, and boy, I can't remember the particular details, but somehow Russ Wants and, and Father Shad became good buddies, and Wants eventually got the Shad Detective Agency. Okay. Uh, and over the years, he built it up. Now, to your, to your knowledge, does um, Shad Detective Agency and Russell Wants, are they involved? involved or provide security for the Pennsylvania Turnpike, Department of Transportation, and the Liquor Control Board. Do you know anything about that relation, those relationships? Only what I've read in the paper.